Who needs to see what the enemies are doing if you can just blap them, slap them, or block for a hundred all at once? Want to blip some blaps as a clad, I think, to start. Just bonk with strong. And become chonk. That's my goal today. Any chance of a chat draft in the future? I haven't planned on it. Uh, we should do a modded stream day uh, pretty soon, though. I would say there is a good chance, though, of a wager for channel points on the fate of this run, though. If you'd like to run one. We can uh, put those hard-earned waffles up for a gamble. And decide, will this ironclad win or perish? Along his journey here. Hexaghost is the Act 1 boss, and here are... The starting choices. Dr. Fizz says, Yesterday I talked about how silent lacking a second dexterity source was a mistake. Are there any other design mistakes like that? Yes. I think that there are. Um, I would say... There's somewhat of a lack of synergy overall for some of the ironclad and silent cards. Uh, the commons in particular. And it feels like it was a mistake, or at least a missed opportunity, to make some of these cards fit into a bigger picture uh, for the character. Uh, they did a pretty good job with Fire Breathing with the revised version. The original version of Fire Breathing was definitely a mistake in this regard, in, the, in that it was a card that really didn't, didn't have a role or synergy for it on, uh, on Ironclad. I still feel like there are some cards where that is definitely the case uh, for each of the characters. Quick Slash is kind of one for Silent. <clears throat> Havoc is really missing a, a number of interactions. I feel like there could be a lot more opportunity there to, to have done something. Why are my characters never full health when I start a run? Well, that's one of the ascension, the difficulty modifiers in this game. There are 20 progressive levels that you can play on, um, but number six here, ascension, ascension six says, start each run damaged. That's why we're always uh, at 68 out of 75. If you play ironclad with no difficulty modifiers, you'll be at 80 out of 80, so we're down 12 health relative to an unmodify or an, a non-difficulty run. And that's uh, quite a difference. Vinicus, thanks for the Prime sub and the two months. Aaron W. with the Prime sub in nine months. Heck yeah. No pressure, huh? No pressure, they say. The fools. So what path am I taking here? I'm almost assuredly taking 250 gold to start because it is juicy. So let's do that. Also, we're fighting Hexaghost, so I don't hate losing some of my starting health either. Let's see, two strikes brings you to 10. Okay, we should be able to do that. The three strikes, notably, this turn does not kill. Oh. Well. Yeah, I should have played one more strike last turn. That's fine. It's a funky draw. Heavy Blade Iron Wave Perfected Strike. I'm going to grab an early Iron Wave, actually. <clears throat> Maybe not my usual first card pickup. Hello. Um, but there's a lot of power and potential there. Speaking of power and potential, what an amazing shop here. Just ludicrous. Raptor says, I've been playing on A15 for some time now. When would I say is a good time to start playing Ascension 20? If you're able to start to accumulate back-to-back -back wins on Ascension 15, that's a sign that you might be ready for Ascension 20. It'll still be a bit of an adjustment, and it'll still be heckin' hard, but you can probably handle it if you're willing to suffer a bit. Hmm. 
Interesting. Definitely buy this and this. So many things I can buy. Heck. I'm eyeing the meal ticket with these shops coming up. Uh, although I think ideally I want to go this way. Seems ambitious, but we might be able to pull it off. It's only one upgrade, which is the uppercut. Definitely need to buy a potion if I want to do that. Regen potion is the most sensical, though. Akabeka would help with that a lot, too. Perhaps more than Swift Strike. No, we should buy the Akabeko. The Eki Becky. I could go for heal and heal, too. I can still afford this. Or this. I can have both. Both is pretty spicy. I want both. Let's do it. Just be strong. Uh, order. Doesn't matter. It's a Saturday. Do we take a Dark Embrace? I have absolutely no exhaust. So, probably we take it anyway is usually my approach. We could take Fire Breathing for Hexaghost instead. Yeah, when does that ever stop me? Never, that's when. Literally never. The heck, should have taken the meal ticket. Uh, I think I have to skip this. Definitely potential for high roll. There's also a strong potential for just start a new run. My forehead. Dunk this run into the garbage by giving away all your health when you don't have any to spare. Let's not do that. This is 13. Okay. Healing. Health go up. Good. Feel no pain or cleave. Wow. Uh, I guess they both solve sentries, right? But I like this one more. Sure do. How do I beat Hexagos, though? Don't worry about that. Just solve sentries. It's easy. Also, ouch, apparently. Ooh, we can even get it a turn one kill with explosive potion to get less days. Do I want less of those? They seem like they might be good. I could just let it add three days and then kill it next turn. If I'm playing the Feel No Pain anyway. Let's do that. Yeah, then I can do uh, Feel No Pain, Defend, Iron Wave, and we're set up. Perfect. That's a funky play. I like that. I don't think we need to play the Dark Embrace, because we have the Feel No Pain. And all of my block cards in hand, apparently. Surely it is fine. Not like drawing five days is bad. Get blocked on. Sir. Uh, one damage. Horrible. Okay, that went very well. We get a shuriken, which is quite exciting. If we play three attacks in one turn, we gain strength. That's good news with A, a zero-cost attack, and B, an attack that is secretly a block card. Those both make playing the... Uh, the shuriken more effective and easy. There's also freaking immolate, which is way better than cleave. Give me that. I do think we upgrade the uppercut, though, not the immolate. 
I need that extra weak in Voln, especially the Voln for the uh, Hexaghost fight. But also the the Knob and Lagavulin are going to be a lot easier. This Burning Elite still could be trouble, though. Hopefully we'll get one more potion before then, but we're not actually even necessarily likely to. Perhaps it'll be better if we can preserve our potion somehow. Hmm. Not a very good turn one. Would have preferred bash, strike, swift strike, but uh, we'll take what we can get. We at least get uppercut on the best turn, and then next turn I can swift strike, iron wave, bash. That's also pretty good. That's pretty good. We don't take that much damage. Predator, thanks for the prime sub. Time keeps on a-flying. It sure do. Take 13, win the fight. I probably could have used the flex potion to win there, but I think I'd prefer to have it for the burning elite fight. Second win, when you have uh, Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, is pretty good. Any non-attack card, very notably including Burns, turns into block and draw and more block. And Low Life now turns into healing with the Meat on the Bone, a very strong Act 1 we have going on here. Very good relics to start. Pretty dang good cards too. This is definitely what you want to see to get a Spire Run going. Which Ace Attorney? We're playing Ace Attorney Chronicles later today. Heal 18, go to 50. We've had first battle trance, yes, but what about second battle trance? Honestly, you know what's better than second battle trance in my opinion? Headbutt. To put the battle trance that you have back on top of the deck. Oh. And... We come across a dead adventurer on the floor. What an amazing act one. Secret bonus elite that is sentries. So we can fight the sentries again. This event indicates which elite you'll be facing by the text here. Scoured by flames for sentries. Uh, gouged and trampled by a beast for a gremlin knob. Eviscerated and chopped by giant claws indicates Legavulin. So knowing that this is sentries, we can easily pick a fight with them. We have Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, Second Wind, Immolate. Should be a pretty easy fight. Uh, and we get more rewards than usual for de defeating them, too. Does Ace Attorney have actual game mechanics? No, I, I don't think I would label it as such. It's by and large a visual novel. One that doesn't particularly respect the player's intelligence at that. I guess I I could second win for five here. We just want to uppercut strike, I imagine. Taking 10 is no prob, we have the meat. The power of the meat compels you. So I do want to take five more. I do want to take five more. Very well. No need for feel no pain this time. Now we have even more health than we started that fight with. Cards that I don't really want. A relic I'm not particularly likely to use. That's all right. Just throw it on the pile. It's all good. Now we face our burning elite, who is... Oh, look! It's the sentries again. Let's fight them again. And probably win again. 
the tri sentries. So normally you can't encounter the same elite back to back. However, because we just fought these enemies as part of an event room, it doesn't count as a real quote unquote elite. So we can face them twice in a row in a situation where we're not supposed to be able to. I think seven, huh? I don't feel the need to potion here. More like try hards. Got him. We get self-forming clay. If we take damage, gain block on the next turn. Really good relic. And here's armaments come back, which I do like quite a bit, given how few upgrades the deck has. I might even just choose to upgrade the armaments and then in Act 2 upgrade the Battle Trance. That way we can kind of rely on the armaments to do the work of our upgrade deficit here. Let's do that. I don't completely hate that flex either, especially with Letter Opener. Uh, let's, let's see. We take two, yeah? Take two. How many sentries killed so far? Nine, yeah. We could potentially get a few more in the future acts. Ooh, fruit juice. The juice is loose. Could maybe add a war cry for letter opener, but I don't think you want to. Without an upgrade on it. What boss relic would be better than Pandora's box in this situation? I think Pyramid would be very good as usual, um, especially with the armaments that we can upgrade. We could uh, boost all of the other cards in our hand, and that would be very strong. Snekawai would also be very good. Two cost uppercut, two cost immolate, two cost dark embrace. Armaments again scales really well in that situation, and so does the second wind. Copy Dripper with meat on the bone would be dang good too. Not necessarily better than Pandora's. It depends on what the Pandora's gives, of course. Let's see. Speaking of, I think we can get rid of a card here. Lose a strike? Let's lose a strike. And then upgrade the armor. All right, Hexaghost could be a slightly difficult opponent here. Despite everything, I'm not 100% sure that we are able to easily handle this fight. Don't think we want to add too many burns to our own deck. Probably we should just get the power down. We're not going to get a lot of draw, but it does work with second win, so that could matter. And I don't want to keep drawing the Dark Embrace, so let's just do that to start. Not a great turn one, but here we are. I am thrilled with Uppercut turn two. That's going to dramatically reduce the damage we take here. Um, and I think we definitely want to prioritize the Shuriken as a scaling mechanism in this fight. So not playing Feel No Pain, but rather playing Uppercut Strike, Swift Strike to get that plus one, which we're going to need. Get lots of block this turn. So if I can play three more attacks, that'd be cool. Or maybe Bash in another attack. Cannot. But I can upgrade some cards. That's kind of cool. And then we have Battle Trans next turn. Drawing some more stuff. Me back to the Vuln. This works too. Our chance to get Feel No Paint down. Um, let's see. Currently I block 10. Take 4. Don't really want to take 4. Okay, so Armaments can upgrade two more attacks here, or we can use the second win for the first time, drawing three cards, getting rid of this burn, drawing towards Uppercut and Swift Strike and Bash. That's what I want to do here. Dense the deck down to just offensive stuff. But that Swift Strike, keep letting us uh, 
activate Shuriken. It's the way to win here. Looks like we're short on damage, though. Uh, this is probably then the turn to use the Flex Potion. We get three hits with Vulnerable. I think it's going to be hard to do better than that. I'd really prefer to kill this thing quickly. This does 43 more. Yeah, then we can kill it pretty fast. <clears throat> we have another point of strength. Good. Hit me. Beautiful. And then that should be able to kill next turn with Vuln easily. So we're we're good. We have won the fight. GG. Little bit scary there, but not too bad. Offered limit break, demon form, exhume. So why are we holding on to the fruit juice? Um, yeah, we, we may be able to find relics from here that improve the value of it. Uh, exclamation point juice has a clip that kind of highlights why we might want to hold on to it. Uh, the more immediate reason here is that we could be taking Sacred Bar, because our boss relic, making this worth 10 max health. In the event that we do so. I don't know if I can afford Demon Form. Exhum is cute, though, with uh, Dark Embrace Feel No Pain. Surely we're going to want this card. Could do Limit Break with Shuriken. It sounds slow, going to be honest. We could find more strength, though, and make it a lot faster. I think I'd rather have Exhum, though. That's what I'm going to take. A little bit speculative at the moment, but as we accumulate more exhaust cards, it's just going to get better and better. And I like it a lot with Letter Opener, too. And there it is, by the way, the Sacred Bark. Double the effectiveness of potions. With my alternative boss relic options being kind of unattractive. Although I don't totally dislike Runic Dome. I do think that Shuriken wants more energy. I do think that uh, Dark Embrace, uh, Feel No Pain, want more energy. Maybe I do just take Dome here. Dome seems very reasonable. The deck is too energy hungry for me to want to take the Bark, given the other options. Okay, let's take Runic Dome. Close your eyes and just pray for mercy. It'll work out, I'm sure. So we want a path that is loaded. Elites and shops and rest sites. Not exactly going to get all of those. Let's start with the shop, since we have plenty of cash. And then we can decide what to do from there. I'm thinking something like this. Upgrade, upgrade, second shop, third upgrade, second elite. That looks pretty good. With meat on the bone, we should be pretty safe as well. We, we could maybe opt for this elite instead of the fire. What would have been a worse boss relic chest than that one? Let's see. Instead of the useful... I mean, a crown is pretty bad. Um, ectoplasm with membership card would definitely have been worse than Dome. So I would nominate Ectoplasm as a relic. I would probably take Sacred Bark over. Um, Black Blood would be pretty bad, considering that we have the meat on the bone. Tiny House is pretty weak. Yeah, there's definitely worse relics we could have seen. Uh, I do want to play the Feel No Pain. I do. No bash for me. I've not gone off one time yet. Great. <laughs> it's about to, though. Go! Oh, but it gets no credit, right? Yeah, because it hit block. So the game doesn't count that as actual damage, or at least the tracker mod doesn't. No. Oh. Do how 
knowledge. 31. <laughs> Not yet, I guess. Here we are. Slightly awkward fight, but meat on the bone makes all things even out in the end. Hummel is pretty good, scaling with the shuriken and perhaps more importantly, absolutely blapping stuff on turn one with Akabeko. And it says exhaust, meaning two things. It's going to activate our powers and it's an exhumed target. It's pretty sweet. Bonk. Please no. Ow. My face, though. Would bites be good here? It'd be okay. Bites with shuriken are pretty good in general. I would say so. Power through second wind. Yes, definitely. Second power through second second wind. Seems pretty sweet. Orange pellets allow us to purge debuffs. That's also pretty sweet. Red Skull is here, but I don't think I'm going to buy the Red Skull. Because I like the other options a lot more. Add Rock with the Prime Sub and the 15 months of support. Would I still have taken the Dome without the meat? I think so, yeah. Is Sever Soul good here? Not when there's a second wind. Uh, buy this too, actually. Buy this. Seems good to me. Oh. A book? I love reading. Read the book. It's about death. Specifically, the death of everything that isn't us. On turn one to a doubled immolate. Jackpot. With proof in hand, will you retain your memories? Hmm, 34 health. Double uppercut is also very good. Uh, I'm not sure I want to try to fight this elite with 34 HP, though. Consideration for the Red Skull over the Art of War? No, this deck is headed in in spectacular skill-oriented places. From here on out, I'm going to remove about half of the attacks we already have. I'm never going to add any attacks except Body Slam, and I'm going to add mostly skills. So I do not want anything that is attack or strength rel related anymore. We are not going that direction from here. Corruption would definitely be good here. I'm going to opt out of the elite fight and opt into whatever this is instead. If I know why. Oh, I see. That's why. Twenty seven is a full block. Cool. It's gonna hurt though. Ouch. You suck. I didn't even talk about how the Necronomicurse 
is a second win target that cannot be permanently destroyed, which is very cool. So we could do some very funny things with that. I would really like a burning pact from here. Maybe I don't want corruption. Do I even want to go to this shop? Hmm. Yes. A reasonable fee of all my gold, huh? But a reasonable fee of all your health. Romeo. Romeo must die. Immolate, what gives? Hmm. Debating using colorless potion here. Yeah, let's do it. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Get a fairy in a bottle, another pummel, or another, another, another power through. Deck needs an evolve stat. Give me that. I love boats. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Holy crap. I have three power throughs. Oh my god. This game is over. <laughs> uh, headbutt this one. Why not? Yeah, now it's, it's free draw and free block. Like, holy crap. What the heck? <laughs> oh, my good lord. Actually, I should have just played a skill. That's the wrong pick. It doesn't matter that much. They all die. Whirlwind with uh, Necronomicon slaps, though. Uh, who's our rec boss? Collector. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a slapper. X cost card. X cost cards count for Necronomicon. Yes, as long as you pay at least two, they count. Works really well with um, Akabeko also. Good call. Get destroyed, sir. The damage. Holy crap. Pen Nib is going to further add to this, and there's the corruption we've been waiting for. All right. You may come into the deck. Please and thank you. Not enough damage. Ooh. Guess I'll wait on that. Double strike. The restrikening. Tax 
Max or stupid? Um, I guess max health is good, though. Let's just drink this and pick this up. Great corruption. Card draw. This is turn four, so let's show off the Necronomicon X cost interaction here. If we play Whirlwind for four, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four times two. Pretty sweet. Oh no, I've drawn some burns. Routine Sadness, thanks for the Prime sub, and 51 months of support. Here's the missing piece of the puzzle. I was hoping we'd see Barricade. Barricade is here. Impervious is not bad, but Barricade is absolutely going to do exceedingly stupid things by allowing us to accumulate gigantic block and then keeping all the gigantic block. Let's do that. Um, energy is not bad, but Barricade Philostone is kind of improper. Thinking about just Astrolabe three strikes here. I said I wanted to get rid of all these attack cards, and I meant it. Oh, holy crap. I said I wanted a Burning Pact. Well, how about two and an Uppercut? Amazing. Filthy, disgusting good. So many hands. <laughs> Hopefully the Astrolabe was able to lend me a hand. Tuber? Potatoes are my favorite. It's already enough money to buy a rare relic, so let's go to a shop. for the attack. How dare they? All right, you gotta die first. Why does Necro work with X cost cards but not wrist blade? Um because the devs did not code everything consistently, <laughs> is my best answer. X is never zero, but it can be a, a value, a positive value that is above zero, I guess. I suppose.
How do I? How did I know they will increase the Wurn's damage? They can't attack twice in a row. That's why. So if they attacked last turn, they cannot attack again. Yeah, they, they do have a maximum to the Thorn value, uh, 19 on Ascension 20, uh, 17 if you're on lower Ascension, I think. It does change. How could Risk Blade affect X, X cost attacks? Um, theoretically, if you had Chemical X and play them for zero, then they should get the boost, but they don't. Doesn't work that way. It's not real. Chemex doesn't count as playing for two. If you play it with zero energy for two, you won't activate Necronomicon. So, I don't think so. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Bloodworked. You just reminded me of an oldie but a goodie with your username. The other day I was talking to my dad. I asked him what my blood type was, but he just kept telling me to be positive. I don't know why he wouldn't tell me. No refunds, Swiss yet. Dustbin Goblin, thanks for the eight months of support. Oh, um, my face? My face is about to disappear from this earth. A dark day. Dark day. Uh, I don't think this is enough damage. No, it's not. Terrible. Commence the ouching. Okay, that could have been a lot worse, actually. Cancel the ouching. Take the duplication potion. There's the body slam. Take that. We don't need any other cards at this point. Any other attack cards, that is. Main event, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. That's a lot of money, though. And I can get to two shops, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Would I take a free fiend fire? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, with membership card, that's a lot of purchasing power. Let's play. Can it really be this easy? as hard as we can. That's fine, too. A boom. Yeah, we just tanked that hit. That's cool.
Yeah, how to, how to take six damage? I don't think I'm going to bother. Is how. No need for any of this. Theoretically, they go with what we have, but in practice, they're just getting in the way of the really good cards. The power throughs, which I will take a fourth copy of, because heck yeah. We're also obscenely rich, meaning I can buy anything and everything that I want. Uh, ink bottle's pretty good. The Windstone is here, which they, for some strange reason, want me to take. Baffling. Unceasing Top could be good. Uh, I don't see any reason not to take it. I'm being demanded that I take the Brimstone for fun reasons. All right, I guess. I guess I will allow myself to be bullied here. Brimstone, get. None of the rest of this, not even the Chrysalis. All right, cool. Okay, we need to be as strong as possible. Let's see how this goes without one normality. Hmm. Alrighty then. That's a big bailer. The stair. Heck. No idea if I'm being attacked. How spooky. Ceasing top. Cool. How many second wins is too many? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh dear, not this fight. Have a punch from me to you. that. Thank you. We all knew that was coming. No surprises there, right? Former me would have one of these cards. Cynic in me sees no reason for such trash. Hmm. Any rare cards in this deck? One? Two, three. Pretty low amount, actually. Four? I missed there. Oh, Exhum. Yeah, Exhum. Four. Uh-oh. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, we have the card draw online, everything is fine.
Get him. Cool. Gotta be wary of the uh, purse still. All right, good fight, transient. We're almost to that second shop. Just a few more floors. Boat thingy's nice, but we gotta take the blue key here. And it's the Dorklings once again, except I drew Immolate turn one, meaning there is no fight. Good fight. We do want to go through another elite. We already fought Repto with the curse. We're fine. We're fine. Not a. F oh. Hello. Never mind. Even better. Remove normality. Please add potion belt, speed potion, panic button. We want hand drill? I don't think it matters. I mean, we took the brimstone for fun. We'll take the hand drill for fun. And they said I wouldn't be able to spend all this money. The fools. The fools. Good enough. Mega prep is very good. Elixir is obscenely good. And we don't need that stuff. Bottled Tornado. Clockwork Souvenir. Can bottle the Dark Embrace or the Barricade, both of which are very good bottles. Actually really like Bottled Barricade. There's also corruption and all the other options, too. Energy potions are okay for maybe getting the barricade in play. Isn't the extra cost a bit much? Yeah, I'm hoping to pay that huge cost on turn one when I can afford to, because yes, it is expensive, and I don't want to have to pay that on turn two or three, because I'm busy blocking. So let's pay it on turn one. I really like getting it uh, turn one against heart with self-forming clay as well. That's also very important. I think we don't take this, although this is guaranteed no vuln. I'll take the new vuln. Yeah, I like it on turn one.
Isn't saving the wounds just better? Not if we're not getting back around to the wound stuff. Um, I was just using those for ink bottle procs so that I could draw a card that turn. Might hurt a bit. But that's what self-forming clay is for. I'm getting hurt a bit. one more card. Good. There's the body slam I was trying to get. That's fine, though. hear no bell <laughs> or did I hmm barricade barricade would a juggernaut be fun right now it sure would be yeah juggernaut would be amazingly fun I'm just gonna play the powers screw it it's probably fine or whatever Yeah. Not bad. deck absolutely blocks. Bonk. Headbutt the bonk, put it on top, draw it with the unceasing top, bonk again. Get the dark embrace for free, keep drawing cards because life is good. Stop drawing cards because I don't need to. Romanov, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. dead. Two thump, two thump, two thump. Deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of early dark embrace being overpowered again. Have I been here before? Perhaps a few times too many. 
You know, I feel like the brimstone really loses it, loses the impact with the uh, Rinnick Dome. It's easy to forget that all the enemies are getting bonus strength here for no reason. You need to be upgraded. Oh. So about that expensive cost for barricade on turn one. About that. OP. Oh my lord, what a hand. Hmm. So I'll do it that way. And then twelve by four. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Note how everything became free in that moment? That's overpowered. Bonk. they do to, to, to deserve this? Good question. Next question. Hmm. That's a pretty immediately useful speed potion, so I think I just use the speed potion. be nice and secure we are uh, don't forget this is brimstone heart so this is actually dangerous we do need to think a little bit about what we're doing here speed potion will eat our souvenir but we also have orange pellets so it's likely that it won't matter but only likely we're not guaranteed to get a power attack and a skill that we can play together at all and uh again with brimstone heart being vulnerable is pretty spooky. That said, the amount of nonsense I can block on turn one is actually insane. So I'm strongly considering just uh, doing that. Yeah, with the fairy two. And a duplication potion power through here. So we get 20 block twice, and then I have lots of targets for this second wind. Hundred and twelve block. And I guess I headbutt the power through. Or maybe the second wind, so I can make more room in hand. In case we get curses, but I can just play those with ink bottle now or with the uh, medical kit. Just take the power through. Oh yeah, we draw the card immediately, uh, so it doesn't matter actually. That's right. Good point. No dark embrace though. Whatever. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I love that it's just gain 15 block, like everything is normal, except it's not normal. I have five decks and I'm frail. It's cute. Uh, play this. Delete all these cards. Now we punch. Oh, and what's that? All the debuffs are also gone at this time. 
play the panic button. I want to save that for later. It's the multi-attack. It's only a 3 by 15 with all of the things that we made happen. Bonk. I have capped damage. Get hit for 36. Seven strength, by the way, so this is six by 15 with the weaken. Getting spooky. Although we're still blocking, no problem. Damage cap. Damage cap. BG. Indeed, a perfect heart fight with the brimstone. That's kind of silly. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.